We'll ask Coach Miller to make an opening statement and then go to questions uh, for Robert and Juwan. Coach. Uh, congratulations to Rutgers. Um, you know, they fought their way out of a, a really uh, deep hole early, and I thought our team was really doing a nice job. Uh, but they continued to fight it through and uh, got away from us a little bit in terms of composure on both ends. And uh, halftime felt a little bit different. And uh, the confidence that they continued to play with throughout the rest of the game, you know, really was the difference. You know, they were more forceful in a lot of areas. They took things away from us. And uh, we really, just at the end of the day, didn't have an answer for guarding the ball and just doing some things that we were, you know, doing really well for a long time. So you got to give them credit. You know, on this stage, you know, you're playing for a lot. And, uh, you know, I thought they played with a lot of confidence. For our guys, you know, I'm really disappointed. Wish we could have done a better job. Uh, they gave everything they had all season long through a lot of ups and downs. Saw a lot of guys grow throughout the course of the year and do some things that a lot of people probably didn't anticipate. And from that standpoint, you know, I'm proud of them. Question for the students. Please raise your hand. We'll get the mic to you. Start in the back here. Robert, you guys were doing so well the first 10, 10, 12 minutes. Did you think, did you guys relax a little bit at 24 to 8? Or what do you think really started the, the downfall tonight? Um, I think uh, we didn't do a good enough job of keeping our foot on the gas once we had them down in that type of situation. And, um, you know, they responded and uh, we never did. Other questions for the students? Clear to Terry in the second row. Juwan, you guys came out in the second half and, and you eventually got it back and tied it. They came down and hit a big shot after that. It was, it was just one of those things where you couldn't make enough shots? Um, I think it just comes down to uh, not getting enough stops. Um, not so much uh, shooting because if we were getting stops, we would have got out and our offense would have been f flourishing. But we didn't get those. Clear Zach in the second row. I guess for either of you guys and Joan, you maybe talked about it a little bit there, but you've been really good in, in close games this season in terms of executing in key moments. But just maybe what wasn't getting you guys over the line in some key possessions there in the second half, do you think? Robert, let you take that one, please. Um, I just think we weren't um, as sharp, sharp as we needed to be down the stretch. Um, and we never really got over that hump where we strung stops together and buckets with those. Down here in the front row. Uh, Rob, what, what was it about Sanders that made him so tough to defend? Um, you know, he was, he was really good at getting to his right hand, and that's something that we talked about. And um, when we allowed him to do that, you know, he really hurt us. And um, I don't think... Uh, you know, us guards did a good enough job of taking that away from them. Anything else for these two guys? All right, thanks, fellas. You may return to the locker room. Take questions uh, for Coach Miller. <coughs> Anybody? Okay, we'll start in the back. Coach, I, listen, I know you just lost, but I'm wondering if you had any thoughts on what occurred with your brother today? Uh, no thoughts at all. What? No thoughts at all about uh, you know what's going on out there. You know he is my brother, and uh, you know that's big. It's my family, and uh, you know anything that's discussed with them about us uh, is about family and stays within that. But no no thoughts on what's going on in terms of uh, other than thinking about them. Stay out there in the back. Aren't you guys had a stretch of the second half, I think about 10 or 11 minutes, we only were able to make one field goal. Was it just guys not taking good shots, not communicating? What do you think was going wrong with the, with the offense in the second half? You know, I thought they did a great job of establishing that they weren't going to let Juwan catch the ball. And uh, usually we can play through him. At least this team really relies on being able to play through him. And if you look at how difficult they made him catch the ball, how hard it was for him to, you know, play in space. It just became a lot harder for our team to not be able to play through him. That's one. And then I thought early in the first half when we had things going in a good direction, 
we had some shot selection issues that didn't didn't help us. And uh, the shot selection in the first half sort of took its toll on us when, you know, you could extend the lead or at least gave yourself a chance to play comfortably. Uh, but late in the game and as we tried to play and we needed to run offense, they eliminated what I thought was our ability to run through Juwan. And after that, you know, our guards and we need to be able to make some plays for others. And that's not that, that wasn't happening and give them credit. I thought they were in denial, thought they used great quickness. They played extremely hard and they make things challenged. But when you're not able to play inside out and we're not able to establish our best player, you know, that sort of comes back on me. We got to figure a different way how to do it because uh, he didn't have the impact in the game, even with 15 and nine that, that he usually has in a game. Stay out there. Archie, um, they shot 68% in the second half. That included only four attempts from three-point range. Did it feel as though you were almost swimming against the current a little bit there? And how would you assess your level of satisfaction with your team's defense in the final 20 minutes? Well, I mean, you can start with the, probably the first 12 and say, you know, that's who we've been. We had a great connection on the floor. And then I thought our offense sort of gave them some, gave, gave them some easy ones on the break, turnovers, runouts. They started to get a little bit of confidence. The lead shrunk. And uh, in the second half, we were not able to stop the ball. You know, we just couldn't, whether it was Sanders at the basket. Um, I thought Deshaun Freeman really hurt us throughout the game with his ability to play off the lane and drive. And they were able to do some things one-on-one -on -one that we just – we didn't have an answer for for the first time in a long time. We just couldn't answer the bell. I mean, 68% from the floor in the second half, allowing them to shoot 58 for the game. And – you know, in, in all reality, still being kind of in the game for the most part was just disappointing. You know, I thought just a tougher team won tonight. And uh, at this time of year, you don't expect to have that happen. But we just didn't get the job done in enough areas, and we didn't respond like we have been responding when we needed to. But uh, and I give them credit. You know, if you look at, you know, Corey Sanders' game tonight, you know, they, they, they took away the help. They let him play one-on-one, -on -one and... I thought he did a great job of getting downhill. He also hit some tough ones, but, you know, that's back-to-back -back games where he's done that. He's a tough guy to stop, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, and he got going. We'll take a couple more. We've got Terry here in the second row, and then Zach. Do you feel like this is the end of the year, or do you feel like this is still a team that could get an NIT berth? I would be surprised. I would be surprised if there's postseason on the horizon for us, um, even with a – sixth place finish in the Big Ten. I would be surprised if something came along the line. We'd be really excited because I think this team likes to play with one another and they've been a group that's worked really hard to improve. As improved as any team I've been around, to be honest with you, in terms of where we started to where we finished. But um, I'd be surprised if they throw one our way. Um, you know, I'm sure we'd be ready, but I would be surprised. Take the last one, Zach. I guess just to follow up on that, is there any thought of anything beyond the NIT or, or the no. NIT? Yeah. Coach, thanks very much. Thank you.